So something that doesn't get talked about probably nearly enough is color calibration. It's probably not the most exciting thing. It's not kind of a new super wide open lens, but it affects all of us. So whether you're just starting out with photography, whether you're a seasoned pro, whether you do it as a hobby, you do it for work, color calibrating your monitor is such a big deal that often gets overlooked. I know I've overlooked it in the past, but it can have some serious consequences as well, right? So I remember using a monitor that let's just say was pretty cheap. And to be fair, you know, it did the job and it got me started, but I wasn't really thinking about whether or not the colors were accurate. And I ended up getting some stuff printed for a client and it came out really dark and the colors were all kind of a bit off and it all just looked a bit wrong. And that was a really hard lesson in why color calibration is so important. And that is where something like this comes in so useful. This is the Calibrite Color Checker Display Plus. And ultimately it's just an incredibly easy tool to use to get the correct calibration on your monitor. Now, what do I mean exactly by that? Well, when you look at a new monitor, so something like my one over there, my one is definitely guilty of this, right? They come very bright and usually quite saturated, quite colorful because ultimately they want to wow you, right? So the initial kind of display, the profile on the display is very colorful and bright just to impress you. And for a lot of people that will do the job, right? If you're not doing extremely color accurate work or even really worried about colors, then things being very kind of vivid and bright probably just feel better because it just looks very intense. And you know, if you don't know exactly what you're looking at, if you're just there to have a good time, that probably looks like it's really nice. But when it comes to actually using this for work, for video, for photo, anything where you need those colors and brightness and all that kind of stuff to be correct, it's not so helpful. So out of the box, a lot of monitors need a little bit of tuning. Now, some of them do have actual profiles built in. My one, for example, has an sRGB profile, which is much more color accurate and much less intense. And I use that for all my work, but nothing beats being properly calibrated. You've kind of got two eventualities to any work that you might be doing kind of professionally. It's either gonna stay online, where it's gonna be circulated through websites, or maybe it's in a video and YouTube or something like that, or it's going offline, it's gonna be printed, it's gonna go out into magazines, or it's gonna go on a wall, or it's in a poster, or whatever it might be. They're gonna be used for something, and they might be used for both digital and non-digital work. So knowing that you're working with the correct colors and what you see is what you're gonna get is super helpful. Whether you're sending your images to a third party for printing, or whether you're keeping it all in-house, handing off your work, knowing it is correct, the colors that you see on your screen are correct to the colors that are in the file is really important. So how does something like this work? Well, let's open this up and I'll show you exactly what you get inside. Now, like I say, it's actually really, really easy to do this. That's why it's such a, it's such a useful tool because it's an important thing to do that can feel a bit intimidating, but really this just takes a matter of minutes and couldn't be easier. So inside, we just get a couple of things. We get this, which is the actual main tool you're gonna to be using, which I think is actually specifically called a color, a color, a colorometer, a colorometer. Is that how you'd say it? Either way, it's a very clever device that actually hangs just on the front of your computer screen. So it actually can look at what's coming out of your computer screen. You just take this little diffuser off. It's able to measure the light, the color, and work out whether it's correct or not. Now you use this with the software that you can download from Calibrite's website so that it works in conjunction with that. That software will display certain colors and certain brightnesses, and this will pick up what it's actually displaying on your monitor and just how correct that is compared to what it should be. It'll also pick up the ambient light in your room so it can set the correct brightness for your monitor to actually look as true to life as possible. Now this is all so useful, especially if you're doing print work, because you can just get this absolutely correct on your screen so you know exactly what it's gonna look like when it's printed. You could even go so far as to calibrate your monitor with a printer if you're doing it all in-house, and then you know exactly what it's gonna look like before it comes out of the printer. It really is as simple as that. Once this is done, all of its measurements, it'll just create a profile for your monitor, set that so that it's completely accurate now, and you can even set a reminder to recheck it every three weeks, every month, something like that, if you want to, if you ever use different settings on your monitor and stuff like that. Otherwise, you can just leave it as is. It is such a useful tool that really is just unbelievably easy and straightforward to use 
but can make the world of difference. Now, this definitely isn't just for professionals. This isn't just for people who are printing their work and for clients and doing digital marketing stuff. This is for hobbyists as well. This is for amateur photographers. This is for someone starting their photography journey. And the reason I know that is because I made those mistakes at the beginning, really, of my photography journey. It really added to the amount I was having to learn because I couldn't understand why my images looked one way on my monitor, but looked completely different on a different computer, a different monitor. They were darker, the colors weren't right. Oh, it was so frustrating. And all I really needed was something like this. You can check this out on our website. I'll pop a link down in the description. Definitely, definitely worth taking a look at something like this, I think, if you do any photography or video work, which I'm guessing you do if you're watching this channel. And if you're anything like me and you're intimidated by how complex this might be to use, don't be. It really couldn't be easier, to be honest. I don't know what I was worried about for all this time. It's such an easy tool to use. Really have nothing negative to say about it at all. So that's it. Links down in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well so you can check out all the other content we have all the time. I'll see you next time. But until then, as always, thanks for watching.